But here you can see I have the seat support stretched across there. And um, this measurement from the top of this shear whale to here is in scale about oh, 16 to inches or so. So which is about the size, which is about the size of your shoulders down to, to your, from your butt to your under your armpits, roughly on average. Um, so on the other side here, the stock is 0 0.40 by 0 0.40 inches. So take that for what it means. So you can understand that measurements that's what's on the outside of the plastic container and here I've started the seat right all right so I'm basically what I did is I took a piece of 36 inch stock wide enough I put this on here and I traced this line here right and I got this distance from here to here from this. This is a cutter. This distance here to here is about eight and a half inches. I mean, I'm sorry, eight and a half feet. So in quarter inch or 72nd inch scale, that's just a little shy of an inch and a half. And that's what that is, just a little shy of an inch and a half. I went in from this outside line, inside, because remember that's this dimension, here to here, right? So I try to guess what this distance is from here to here, and here to here, and I came up with this line right here, which I cut, right? And the key note is you want it too big to start with. And it is actually almost the exact size of, it turns out, if you put it down on here, let's get this under the light here. All right, right? For some reason, this is not getting very good light here. Yeah, that's better. It's from here on the inside to here on the inside. So I'll just take this piece and slowly but surely, I will cut back on it until it fits in here. Before I do that, I'll find the center line right here someplace and I'll cut a notch out this big right here. So it goes up against the stern whale. The notch is out right there. Put that right there and then I'll probably make a measurement from here to here based on this and this and then I'll start with that. So I'm taking measurements from here, from this, this, off of this scale, I come up with something that looks like this. And I'll cut that out and I'll have the back seat which I can put in or not, but honestly, what I'll do first is I will make this foot whale down here, like this, like this right here. I'll make that first out of planks and lay that down. And then I'll put the seat down to cover that up. To make the foot whale, I made a I'm going to make, cut this piece out right here, which would technically be this little piece right here, going in about here, right about in there, right? I've got four planks cut for this one and this one, and one on this side and one on this side. See those right there? I'll put those on here, and I'll take the seat that I made and use that as a guide for cutting the angle on the bottom of the boat. 
it. Well, there it is rough. You see what I just did is I just lined the, everything up and I just painted this with super glue to seal it all up. Since it'll be flipped around to the other side, you won't see this rough right here. And it'll be very strong. And I can, uh, I'll just use basically my seat, something like this. This is on the one that I did earlier that was too small. But I'll use that as a pattern to cut and into the bottom here. And it'll be close to that. And I'll just shave down until it fits. A little cutting, a little fitting. And this is what it ends up. The foot wheel for the officer's seat looks like. And then um, you go in here. See where the line is. Right about here. Right here. That's where it will go. Right about there. It'll go to the back to about here, but that's far enough. It doesn't have to go all the way back. And, uh, put that in there and show you what that looks like in just a minute. Well, you can see the foot wheel is in now. And, um, take the seat here. Kind of put it in there. Alright. I'm gonna fit just in there, just like this, sort of fit, just like this. It's kind of hard to do. Hold it in my hand, hold the camera in my hand at the same time. I just want to get it in there and show you what it looks like. All right, hang on a minute. I'm gonna take, shut it off, and I'm put it in place, and then turn it back on again. Okay, there it is. It's in place. Now, here it does stick out a little bit, right? But then you remember there's a seat that goes right across here like this. And I wanted to bring this out to a rib here and here. So it had something to support here and here. Well, on the rear ship, I'm sure there's something underneath here like this to keep this from bowing down. But I don't need that on here. And I've cut some stock. Like this, then it'll go across here. And the width of the stock here, as you see, is just a little bit more than a foot, maybe 13, 13 and a half inches or so. Um, and they will go in here, spaced according to what I can see here, the distance that I see here. Now, this cutter is bigger than the one that goes on the, the uh, Constitution. So it's gonna have more seats. And I'm gonna do the front end here a little more, a little differently than you see here. And because this is based on a design for 1789 and this cutter will be based a little bit more along the lines of um, 18, 14, 18, 15 in the general area. And up in the bow here, there's kind of a little piece that kind of curves in here like this. And I, I'll show you that when, that when I get to that point, but I will still make the foot whale in the front here, like you see here. It just won't be open like this. It just won't be open like this. There will be a little piece in the front here, sort of almost like a something that people guys can grab their hands onto and pull it up onto shore, other than using a rope or something tied off to the bow. And I'll show you that when I get to that point. Oh, you can see I have that forward footrest in place. And in order to put the floorboards down, the foot whales, if you want to call them that, I've got a few planks cut here that I will put in here. And uh, basically, they will be spaced. You know, when I put them in here, I'll show you. Just about the distance, the tip of my what you call it, well, tweezers. 
How about, no, you get far apart, all right? And then I'll go up here to about here, and up here to about the same side, same way on the other side. That's not very, very difficult. Now, as you can see on this one, they actually they curved them along the side of the hull. Well, I've seen plans in other books where that curve kind of disappears and they just go straight across. So that's the method that I'm going to use since making that curve in there is going to be a pain and I'm just not going to do it. Well, it's time to put the rudder hinges on. I've wrote, drawn some guidelines on there. All right, you can see that. It's basically some cardstock, scraps of cardstock, and you just get, you just put it on here like this, All right? Okay. What I'll do is I put a little bit of glue on here, like that. Okay. Put the stock on. Okay. Take my tweezers. And I'll just pinch this down like that. Alright, now, so this one done. It's pretty easy actually. Uh, I'll get that cut. Alright, it looks good. Okay, the next one will go on here, so this is, wait, let's put the glue on. Wrap around first right here, like that, okay? Do that section first. Give yourself enough extra so you can cut it off if you have to we'll pinch that down And that will go down this way. Here. So, let's go ahead, put the glue on there. Layer it down. On your mark, just like that. Okay. Put the glue on this glue on this side, like that. There. Okay. Just lay your mark card down, stock down, like so. There we go. Too bad. Yeah. 
there. And you do the, this one, same as those. Well, this time I guess I can show you the inside, right? There's that little piece on the bow that showed you like that. Little guys can hook their hands into this little area right here as they stand here and pull the pulled it up onto the da, onto the sand. Here I used a piece of plastic stock. Looks looks like this. And just glued it down. And at the appropriate places according to the plans, I marked off the ore locks and sawed them down. Right. Everything's all done. Once once this is on, this will be done. I took some of the same stock that I put in here and I wrapped it along the side of bumpers. Right? And that's pretty much your finished product. Of course I gotta paint it and um perhaps I can show you what that looks like. Later on, bye. Well, it's been painted, so technically it's done. So, nothing more to do, really. So, call that one project that's finished. Hey, hey. And just as a FYI. I've almost got the hull plank on the barge. I don't know that I'll make another video on this one or not. I don't know. If people ask me to, I will, but otherwise I don't think it's necessary. Well, yeah, that should do it for this, and hopefully my material for doing the head on the New York will be here in a couple of days or earlier. And um, see you when that gets here. I have some work done on this ship's head.